let us walk you through the features of the Sweeney Digital Turning Tool. The Sweeney Digital Turning Tool offers a safe and accurate method of rotating turbine rotors during boroscope inspections. If you have ever rotated an engine manually or even with the help of another technician, you will immediately realize the following benefits of using the Sweeney DTT. The boroscope operator can also control turbine rotation, which will help reduce inspection time. The DTT is a quick setup. The carrying case, which is included, is designed to contain the unit with all cables attached, so you just pull the motor out, adapter, and pendant, and you are ready to go. The DTT offers improved accuracy in positioning turbines for inspection. A new motor control technology will allow unprecedented accuracy in positioning blades. It features automatic blade counting, so the operator will always know where they are in the inspection process and has the ability to flag blades for quick review. There is an adjustable torque limit to 150 foot-pounds. This is the most torque available from any turnover tool. The DTT has a built-in sensor that will stop the tool from rotating if it experiences an over-torque situation. This can protect the inspection equipment as well as engine parts from damage. Most commercial and military engines are loaded in the engine library. There are no extra software modules to buy. The USB port on the controller allows connectivity to laptops for downloading inspection reports. It also allows the user to add new engines as well as create custom engines with the provided software. The customer can set the engine names, stages, blade counts, and turning ratios. The electric motor and gearbox are backwards compatible with previous Sweeney Turning Tool mechanical adapters. The operator can adjust the speed up to 360 degrees per minute. The DTT's automatic and manual modes puts their user in full control during operation. Automatic mode will begin the inspection after the operator determines blade 1 and continue through a complete rotation of the engine. It can also be adjusted to pause at each blade. The included foot control provides for a hands-free operation. Connect the motor cable, pendant cable, and the optional foot pedal to the respective connectors on the DTT controller. Connect the power cord to the power port and proper AC outlet. Mount the engine interface adapter on the respective drive pad of the engine gearbox. Mounting methods vary from hex bolts, studs, captive screws, and clamps. The captive screw style is included with the Sweeney Digital Turning Tool. Please take a moment to view the features of the digital pendant. There are nine easy to reach keys that provide operation of the tool and navigation through the on-screen menus. The keys are labeled with their various functions. Note that the top three keys, F1 Start, F2 Stop, and the F3 Help keys also correspond with the functions displayed directly above them on the screen. Turn the power switch to on which is located on the control box. The digital pendant will display the Sweeney splash screen and then will proceed to the rotation and alignment screen. This screen will display the current motor speed of which the slowest is 5% and the fastest is 100%. Slower speeds will allow for finer adjustments. Install the drive motor on the engine interface adapter by lining up the square drive and flange bolt pattern. In order to line up the drive motor flange bolts with the engine interface adapter, you may have to operate the drive motor in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. The next option will be to calibrate the backlash by pressing and holding the counterclockwise key for 5 seconds. Then press and hold the clockwise key until the engine rotates. When the engine begins to rotate, immediately release the key. Press the finish key to continue. On the main inspection menu, you will be able to select from the following options. Select engine, rotation direction, stage, mode, speed, delay, set blade 1, review flagged blades, save report, save inspection, recall inspection, and other options. Use the up and down arrows to scroll through each option and use the F2 key or select key 
to select highlighted items. Select the engine option. Holding the up or down key will allow you to scroll through all the engines that are in the memory. Select the engine that you will be working with and notice that when a new engine is selected it will overwrite the previous engine specification that was in the memory. Press the F1 key to continue. Select the rotate option to change the blade direction. Use the up and down arrow keys to change the direction of rotation. Press the accept key to continue. Select the stage option. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the proper stage for the engine being tested. Press the accept key to continue. Selecting the mode option allows you to toggle between auto and manual mode. In manual mode, you will turn the engine over by pressing the clockwise or counterclockwise key, or by depressing the foot pedal. In auto mode, the motor will cycle the blades automatically, stopping for a specific amount of time, which is set in the delay menu. Select the desired mode and press the accept key to continue. Select the speed option to determine how fast the engine will rotate. Use the up and down arrow keys to choose how many degrees per minute. The slowest speed is 5 degrees per minute, and the fastest speed is 360 degrees per minute. Press the accept key when the appropriate speed has been selected. Select the delay option to set the time each blade will pause for inspection by the operator. Once the correct pause interval has been set, Press the Accept key to continue. Selecting the Blade 1 option tells the DTT which blade will become Blade 1. Press the Clockwise or Counterclockwise key to rotate the engine and position the chosen blade in the boroscope screen. Press F1 to set Blade 1. At this point, you are ready to begin the inspection by pressing the F1 Start key. In manual mode, simply press the Clockwise or counterclockwise key on the pendant to begin rotating the engine, or depress the foot pedal and the engine will rotate in the direction noted on the screen. In auto mode, rotation begins by pressing the start button on the pendant. During the inspection, the pendant screen will show what blade you are on, the engine you are working with, the stage you are in, the rotational direction, and mode of operation, either auto or manual. As the blades rotate through the boroscope screen and they are deemed to be damaged, the operator may flag them by simply pressing the flag key. If at any time you wish to review flagged blades and you are in auto mode, simply exit the inspection and highlight review flags. However, if you are in manual mode, there is no need to exit the inspection. Simply select flags. All flagged blades will be listed on the screen. Highlight the blade you wish to review and select the Go To function. Press the clockwise or counterclockwise key depending on which is the shortest distance to the blade and the DTT will automatically rotate to that blade and stop to allow for more in-depth investigation. Press Exit to return to the main menu. When the inspection is complete, the DTT provides a built-in method of saving the inspection to memory by using the Save Report function. The DTT has the capability to save up to 15 reports in its memory. To view the saved report, you will need to send the inspection to a PC via the USB port. The software required to do this is included with the unit and will need to be loaded on a PC intended for use with the DTT. Connect the USB connector between the DTT and the computer with the DTT capture software. Once communication is achieved, select Other Options on the DTT, and then select Send Inspection Report. The completed inspection report will be dumped to the PC as a text file for printing. 